On this video, we're going to review and compare two AI chat widgets for your website. These will auto respond based on ChatGPT and the information from your website. Now I'm going to compare these, both are on lifetime deal and one is chat base and the other one is Aramon. Now they are both kind of similar and different at the same time. And in my perspective, chat base is extremely easy to set up and grab information from your site. And Aramon, on the other hand, has more features like live chat and more kind of team member kind of thing. So I'm going to show you both on this video and let's go check them out. As I mentioned, both of these are on a lifetime deal. Chatbase starts off at $29 for the lifetime deal, but you don't get customized branding and the limits I'll show you in a bit. On the other hand, you got Aramon, which starts off at $49 and for those $49, you can remove the branding. Now. Let's go check out the limits for Chatbase. Now Chatbase is going to read your website information based on the links that you provide. Now it's super easy because you can add the sitemap and from the sitemap you can decide if, it want, if you want to read posts, pages, blogs, um, WooCommerce, etc. And it's going to grab that information and start reading it. Okay. And for that, you're going to have 1000 message credits per month. So it's going to respond to 1000 messages and you can add up to 10 chatbots and 2 million characters per chatbot. The 2 million characters are the ones that are going to read from these websites. So that's how it's going to limit you. Now, 2 million is quite a lot, but it's going to depend if you've, your site is like super big and you want to have all that information available for the chat bot. On the other hand, you have license tier two, which jumps to $159. You can remove the branding and you get 6 million characters and 5,000 messages per month. So consider that. And on the other hand, you got Aramon. Let's go check out the limits. And for these, they're a little bit more simple. What it does, it does 2,000 intelligent messages per, messages per month. So that's twice as the $29 deal over there. You get one member seat, so no team members on this. And it tracks LinkedIn and website scraping one time per month. So if you get updates and you update deals or pages, etc., you're going to have to wait a month to update that information. So on my per personal perspective, I wouldn't grab this. I would jump into plan two or three for this. Plus, you get more team members, more intelligent messages per month. And that's a really good option. Now, something I forgot to mention on chat base is you can add your own API key. What does that mean? When you hit the 5,000 limit, well, it's going to kick in the open AI and you're going to obviously continue responding to messages. So that's a really great feature. Okay. Now in terms of functionality, I've added them both here on the right, we have Aramon and on the left, we have chat base. Let me click on that. And like I said, both of these are super easy to set up, but when it comes to reading the information that you need and set up, my personal perspective goes to chat base. And I'll show you why before I test these out. On chat base, this is how you're going to set it up. Once you create a bot in my chat bots, you are going to have obviously a demo chat bot to test it out, but then you have the settings. Okay. And in the settings, you can actually edit the base response. You can't do that on Aramon. And for me, this is really important and critical because in this base prompt, I can kind of go in further and tell it what the base prompt is. Like for example, this is a website for marketing and the main brand is Vimy media. And you're going to respond to this, etc., and keep kind of all of this. All right. That really helps out because it's not going to go crazy responding to things like, for example, on a chat bot, if we want well, a chat GPT, if you ask for something like, um, how do I connect uh, my home appliance? It's going to respond to it if we don't fix the base prompt. So this gives you the option to do it. Okay. And then you have the option for temperature. Now the temperature would be, for example, zero would be like, don't go crazy responding things, just respond things that you actually know. Now my personal perspective, I like this kind of just give it a little touch of originality. Okay. Then you can collect customer emails, visibility public, select the domains, rate limiting, and then the chat interface. How do you want it to initial message, suggest the messages, the theme, light or dark, upload the icon, display it. Um, kind of basic on colors. You can select your own. I wish it had gradients for that. Chat bubble, remove chat icon, and align to left or right. Again, I wish they had more options for this. That's all they have for that. And Initial message after three seconds, kind of like it'll pop up to get you to click on it. Okay. So that's for the initial setup. I'll show you where to add the information after this. Now, on the other hand, hand we have Aramon. Okay. So Aramon, once you tell it the LinkedIn link or your website link, it's going to know what it's about and it's going to grab automatically the icon, the title, and it's going to read the website. 
kind of read it because on my test, I've noticed that it didn't read a lot of pages because I've asked information based on my page and it didn't work as good as I thought, okay? Now, to set this up, you can go into bot appearance, okay? And you can set up, again, bot knowledge, the header, trigger icons, welcome messages, the fallback message, and the lead form. So you can enable name, email, and, and phone number, okay? Or just go ahead and disable it. And you have the option to view it here on the right. When it comes to the actual bot knowledge, let me start off with chat base with this. I'm going to go into the manage source, okay? So like I said, when it comes to RMON, you can add the link from LinkedIn or your website and it's gonna pull the information. You can kind of set a little bit more up. I'll show you that in a bit. Now, for chat base, you have several options available. You can actually upload a PDF with the information of your services, your prices, etc., and it's gonna read that information. I can add that, okay? Plus, I can go into text and I can add chatbot name and add more information via text, like what plans they have, what kind of questions, etc., and all of that. That's that's really great. Then we can also add website. You can crawl the website, like fetch links right here from the whole website, or my favorite, which would be sitemap. So on sitemap, what I did right here, I only wanted to train the pages. So it's like the home page, the contact page, the privacy policy, etc. And I don't want it to repost on my website. Why? Because I want to take care of my limits. Maybe I don't need to explain things about posts, but I do need to explain things about my company. And just by adding the sitemap, boom, it read it. Now, if I want to add manually some pages, I can do so here. So that's how easy it is, okay? If I add more, I can retrain the bot. Now, aside from adding the website, I can also add some questions and answers. So if I know that I get typical questions like, how do I set up my custom domain? Um, what is the price for this? Do you have free plans? Well, I have the question here and I have the response here. Question, response. Add these, boom, 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 retrain the chat bot. That's how you're gonna train it with this. That is extremely super easy to set up to get your bot working with actual information. Okay, on the other hand, we have RMON. So RMON, like I said, it reads the information from your website. So in this case, this is the website, sasmaster.net. You got your careers, and then you have these additional options, okay? So you got the about company. Again, you can go a little bit extended here. You can other critical company information so it knows what to respond with that. Careers, help support contact, and then you can add a catalog here. So if you have a product, add it here, the price and description. On the other hand, you can just go ahead and add the product page and you're good to go. You can add some frequently asked questions just like you saw with the other one. So you got your question and the answer, okay? In that case, this is great, okay? Another way that you can set up an RMON is by training it. So once you start capturing information, you can train it and correct it when you are getting these messages. That's something that you can't do on chat base, but obviously you can work and add questions and answers for this and well, do that workaround. Okay, so that's for the training. And like I said, once you get both of these set up, you can start working on them. So in this case, let me add information here. And oh, that's email. So I'll add my email. I'll submit it and I can start the chatbot, okay? So in this case, I can ask it something. For example, what services do you offer? Okay, here we go. That's gonna respond over here and I'm gonna do this over here also. Now, these are different sites. The one is for my SaaS master and the other one is for my marketing. So here we go. We offer a variety of services, including blah, blah, blah. Um, here's my email to continue. Here we go. Over here, we got the option. Now, something I've noticed, it's that it's slower on Aramon when it wants to respond. So consider that. Um, something I noticed, like I said, when we can fix the base prompt, we can let it know that it, it won't go crazy talking about something else. We have the option to customize it. For example, I haven't customized it right now, so I'm gonna ask it something weird, something that has nothing to do with the site. Okay, so I'm gonna ask it how to fix the light bulb, and I'm gonna do this over here. Now, here we go. Oh, wow. So this time it grabbed it, but it did go crazy a little bit. But since we have the option to um, fix the prompt, you can avoid this at all, but it did avoid it right now. Over here, so it, it doesn't know the answer, it's super rigid, but it kind of can get a, a little bit carried off because we don't have the option to fix the prompt. I mean, it's a simple fix, they can probably implement that really quickly and there'll be a pair on that, okay? Now, when it comes to differences, okay? Now, 
on one hand, you have this. It's a chatbot. You don't have a live chat. You don't have team members. And that's about it. You have a super easy way to implement a AI chat responder for your website. I think it's pretty cool in that sense because if you add your support pages and all that, it's gonna respond to everything that you need for that sense. So for example, how to customize a website, how to edit this, how to change the colors. And if you have that information there, it's gonna respond. That's awesome. But on the other hand, on Aramon, if you wanna have a live chat, you can, my chats, you can assign them, you can unassign. You have team members, you got their training, you got lead capture, well, you have contacts over there also, your feedback and channels, okay, that you can add. Well, channels is just like embedding them over there, okay? But there's a big difference in that sense. So if you are looking for something super easy to set up and respond right away, questions that'll help you reduce your, your support questions, my go-to would be chat base. It's gonna be super easy to set up and grab the information that you need. On the other hand, if you are going to need live chat and team members, go for this. But if you want to use it just for, solely for the AI response, uh, I wouldn't grab this. I would go for chat base. Now, like I said, each one of these in their time period could develop something that would be interesting or on pair or even better. I mean, Aramon can take the examples of chat base and make it better and the other way around. Chat base can be better than Aramon if it grabs all that information. So it's going to depend at the end of the day who has the best development here and make something better of this product. If I had to choose, I would go with chat base. I, I like it more. I like the way that it's super easy to add the information. And it's a bit more expensive once you go with, with re removing the branding, having the open AI information. And that's something you don't have RM on. So I would go for this in, in my point of view. But if you need live chat, then definitely go for RM on. If you want to grab these deals and you like this video, I recommend that you check out my links in the description to grab them. And well, that's a wrap.